welcome back <coughs> in the last um, video I was talking about uh, the menu and uh, I said I was going to show you something what was what I wanted to show you was um, the um, orientation of the menu because you can you know sometimes when you get some websites you see that the menu was is actually placed which actually I think I can do I can show you how to do that here as well so um, you can decide to place the menu uh, vertically or horizontal oh, sorry horizontally <laughs> Oh my God! How can horizontal be difficult to pronounce for me? I think it's because I'm hungry. Actually, today is my birthday, and uh, yeah, I know I'm crazy. You know, I'm creating videos on my birthday, but uh, I haven't even eaten anything. So, anyway, it's only 11 in the morning, so I'll be good. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, if you click on the menu, um, if you can't click on it, just like I explained to you, you can always go here and just select what you want. Just uh, select the menu and uh, you want to look for the orientation. So you can either have it vertical or horizontal. Can you see? It's good now. I've placed the or, or, uh, or what? What? Oh my God, I'm hungry. Horizontal. I mean, I've placed it horizontally here. But um, so you can you know decide to have it horizontal and everything will be laid out horizontally along the uh, website. But uh, in this case, I've chose to make it vertical. You can change the width width to any you know you can just put the uh, pixel value just like the height is 16 pixel here. Uh, the path separator you can change it. it you know uh, dynamic. Um, <coughs> I'm going to be covering this. Um, very soon about um, maybe I should actually look into that right now okay let me do that so um, you for example because our uh, um, we've, uh, we've chose to use a static static means it means that um, when we click on a menu say for example we have a sub menu if we click on the if you want to say all right let me start again now we have three pages let me add a fourth page let me add a fourth page uh, add the item from page four when you had if when you had a page do you know the next thing you do don't ever forget that you want to you want to go this is page four what you want to do is it will not go to your sitemap automatically you have to go to your sitemap and add it there automatically so so how do I make page 4 a submenu of page 3 let's do something let me add sitemap node Can you see what I just did? I just made. I'm not going to close this. I'm going to open this so that I can close it here at the bottom. So, side map note. right so that means if I place any sitemap actually I, it really, this really doesn't because I can actually close itself here if you understand what I'm trying to say so now if I placed page 4 there it's going to be a sub menu of page 3 if you understand what I'm trying to say so page 3 is actually a top page for page 4 so now let's do the URL you know I want it to give me suggestions so what so I usually do URL equals squiggle page four dot ASPX um, title 
equals page four description equals this is page four <coughs> so now that we have page four let's run our website let's see what our website looks like right can you see that page 4 pops up automatically just on overing on page 4 it pops out page 4 this is page 4 okay and the reason why that is is because uh, I want to show you we ask you if you want um, static enabled default true uh, dynamic item dynamic dynamic this is very difficult disappear after 500 maximum dynamic 3 static level display to visible mm, data binding orientation height orientation many connection pass separator dynamic over ah it seems like you can't find anything on here uh, dynamic buttons dynamic enable okay all right <coughs> i think this is it determines if the default pop out image is displayed in the dynamic part of the menu what where it says statics determines the pop out image is in the static part of the menu uh, I can't seem to get my head around it this that's not what I was looking for I'm very sure <coughs> Okay, uh, let me s let's set this to fault dynamic enable default. If I set that to fault and run the website, <coughs> uh, I'm trying to show you something, but don't worry when, when it works out, tell you that's what I'm trying to show you. <laughs> okay, oh, it's still not, but anyway, now you know how to create sub menus and. Um, page 3 and this is page 4 um, I'm actually I'm not gonna edit this video in a way I want you to see all the mistakes I make you know so it's very real so anyway um, I'm going to go now when I come back I am going to go through um, the um, the design of the menu so that your menu can be very beautiful so that you can do all this when you place your cursor like your mouse over it it gives you different colors if you know what I mean so I'm going to go through that in the next video <laughs>